Hello friends, folks, family and insignificant others. I am Goemon and uh, I haven't shaved in a while, apparently. Alright, back in a sec. Ta-da! Well, that sorted that out. Anyways, I have a new camera. Ta-da! And that is for a couple of reasons. If you watched any of the recent uploads from my jam sessions, or in fact any kind of video that was filmed by my pocket camera, you might have noticed that it deals very badly with bad lighting situations. As a matter of fact, going inside a building already triggers this camera to black out almost completely. Maybe because of fear, who knows. Also, the audio recordings are a bit sketchy, and everything louder than a snoring granny will cause this mic to record a whole lot of crappy noises. Truth being told, if the environment is loud or loud or noisy, or if there is a deep ba bass involved, it will record a whole lot of bullshit. Also, zooming in or out will deactivate the mic temporarily. And on a side note, it is falling apart. It has memory problems like a schizophrenic goldfish. And lately, this piece of crap has become so introverted that it won't even properly communicate with my computer anymore. Now, this is my trusty digital medium labeled um, pocket camera. Medium basically being the Volkswagen of Chinese electronics, meaning it actually works pretty well un unless you want to do anything interesting with it. So, in order to escape this elastic band mayhem, I purchased a new camera. Well, not quite, I actually purchased it used for 50 quid. This is a Sanyol Zekti, which is basically a Panasonic daughter. It comes with two major flaws, one of them I will explain much later, and the other one being it doesn't have a freaking lens cap. Guys, if you want to be taken seriously as a camera, you need to provide us with the ability to actually cover and protect the lens system. Which is possibly also the reason why why this camera is not taken as seriously as it could be and uh, is basically being laughed at by the real cameras in the shop. But other than that, it is pretty decent and you can do awesome recordings with it. The lens system al allows you to optically zoom in five times, which is pretty awesome. It allows very decent audio, video and image footage. It has a stereo mic in the front, which is freaking awesome. And of course, like all Zacti's do, it is waterproof. So you can actually take it down to the pub, sink it down in a pint of lager and astonish your friends. And then laugh at them if they try to do the same thing with their cameras. Now here's some video footage that I shot at a recent gig of my friend Carter. Shot by my other new friend, Zach T. This was shot in a pub, so it was pretty loud, and still we got really nice, nice audio, decent video, even though it's pretty dark. In fact, the blind beggar pub reached the noise level where, where my Medion camera would have re recorded just a bunch of darkness and noises. And you would later on watch your footage at home and ask yourself why on earth Cthulhu always borrows your camera. But but this one, pretty nice. Also, here's some video footage of my mice, just in case you didn't believe in Carla's colorful image. So yes, the software within this camera, in combination with the, with the significantly larger lenses, allow for much nicer video footage. There are, however, and as always, a few issues with, with this camera, which double act as reasons for me to keep my old Medion around. Even though it does fall apart and I have to convince it with a pair of rubber bands to keep the batteries in. First off, this actually was designed as a camera and therefore also provides you with more options that a photographer likes and needs. Like direct influence on the shutter time, which allows it to take still images in the dark. Secondly, and possibly of importance to me, this girlie here records a far better bass sound. Than she does. Let's roll another video of Carter, shall we? Look at the guitar and listen to the music. Heard 
something funny there? Every time Carlo strikes below E string, you don't get to freaking hear it. And if you don't believe it yet, here's some footage that I, that I shot on my guitar. Here's the footage as Zach D sees and hears it. And here's what the crap medium has to say. It just sounds a lot fuller with the medium camera in direct comparison to his acting. I also plotted the sound spectrum. Now if you are into music you will immediately understand what's going on here, otherwise I will do a bit of explaining. On the far left you have a low hertz numbers and to the far right the hertz numbers are increasing. Which means to, on, the, on the left we have a bass sound, on the right it's getting brighter and brighter. Grandpa's war stories on the left and to the right Kim Kardashian if I, if I kick him in the crotch. Now you will notice that in the median recording to the far left there is a big spike for the, for the deep bass. And that is also what you heard in the guitar recording. And the rest of the spectrum is more equal out than with the Zecto recording. Anyways, as bad as this camera is, and this is pretty much as shite as it gets without being a complete waste of material, it's still a pretty useful camera, well, ideal situations. Now if you were following my Facebook and or Twitter accounts, you might have wondered where this review has been because I already announced it about 10 days ago. Well, there has been a slight problem with the audio recordings of Zacti. In fact, there haven't been any lately. And now the problem has peaked a bit, the camera won't even start up anymore if I press the button. Now after a long dispute with this camera and, point and pointing my bare fingers at it, it gave away its big secret. Yes, I found a problem. There is in fact a broken contact right there. Right there where the screen flips out. And the only way to close that contact is flipping the screen in. Which also means you can no longer reach the on off button because it is hidden underneath a flipping screen. Point. So that means you can no longer actually use this as a camcorder, which is what it's supposed to be. You have to close the screen to the side, carefully slide the finger under the screen and tap the on off button. And there it goes. Now that also means that recording anything with this camera becomes a very silly enterprise. Because if you want to actually look at whatever you are recording, you have to tilt your view by 2 times 90 degrees. You have to flip it to the side and tilt your head if you want to see exactly what is going on on the screen. Not a very comfortable way of filming anything. Thanks lads! And despite the danger of stating the obvious, but also makes communication with the computer not very simple. You actually have to navigate the menu of this thing. And once again I'm left behind with at least one problem unsolved. I still need a second computer to communicate image and video footage between my cameras and this computer. Luckily enough in this case it is my trusty Pandora because it has two SD card slots. In conclusion, bigger lenses usually make for better images, which is also one of the main reasons why you shouldn't take any video image footage with your, with your stupid cell phone camera. Because it's pretty much a guarantee for shite. Also, don't buy medium products, they are crap. And lastly, if you do have a camera where the screen flips open, you might have to expect that at some point the contact between the screen and the camera will give in. So that is it for my ranting today. Good night, good health and DFTBA. And just in case you really wanted to hear my commentary about, about the mo most recent bloody protests in Egypt. Guys, if you take semi-automatic weapons to democratic demonstrations, you should expect that somebody gets hurt. <laughs>